can you make you want to get you a shopping list? No, it's not for me. It's for my sister Farah. But it says here, Nick, please buy these things from Uncle Leong's shop. It's signed, Mum. Look at the handwriting, Alvin. It's not my mother's. Hmm? Huh? It's Farah's. My mum probably wanted her to do the shopping, but Farah is trying to trick me. So she's written it as if your mum has asked you to buy the groceries. Are you going to do it? I don't want to, but I have to because. Far as promised to lend me her iPod. Then let's go to Uncle Leong's shop. I feel like having a lollipop anyway. Now let's see what I have to buy. Two and a half kilograms of garlic. You also have to buy three and one quarter kilograms of onions. Uncle Leong, here we come. If she knows the answer. Hmm? What do you want to ask me? We bought some onions and garlic for my mother, but the total weight of each item is in mixed numbers. Uncle Lewis asked us to calculate the total weight of what we bought, and if we get it right, he'll give us each a free ice cream. A free ice cream? Wow! Hey, Susie, do you know how to add mixed numbers? Add mixed numbers. Hmm. No, I'm sorry, I don't. I know! I have a friend who will teach me how to add mixed numbers. Who? Hello, Nick. Nice to see you again. Hello, Melody, my friend. Have you been doing all your homework? Yes, I have. Good, so let's play! I'm sorry, Melody. I would love to play, but not yet. This is a time for study. Oh, you remembered. Very good, Nick. So do you have any mathematics question to ask me today? Yes. Do you remember you taught me about improper fractions and mixed numbers the last time? Yes. Now, could you please teach me how to add mixed numbers? No problem. Let's begin by adding simple mixed numbers. Now, what do we have here? 1 and 1 8 plus 5 and 3 8. When we add mixed numbers, you must remember we add the whole numbers and the fractions separately. I don't understand. Which are the whole numbers in these two mixed numbers? Oh, I know! 1 and 5. Right, so we add the whole numbers together and then we add the fractions. Ah, I got it. 1 plus 5 equals 6. Good, now let's look at the two fractions. 1 eighth and 3 eighths. Do you see anything similar in the two fractions? Yes, both have a common denominator A. Very good. Remember, Nick, if the denominator is the same, then all we need to do is add the numerators together. So, 1 plus 3 equals 4. Don't we add the denominators together? 8 plus 8 equals 16. No, these are fractions. All we are doing is adding one part of 8 to three parts of 8. We get four parts of 8 or 4 over 8. Or 4 eighths. Remember, Nick, you added the whole numbers earlier. Yes, I added 1 and 5 and I got 6. Now, let's put it all together. We take the sum of the whole numbers, which is 6, and put it together with the sum of the fractions. Which is... 4 eighths, and we get a total of 6 and 4 eighths. Very good, Nick. You are learning fast, my young apprentice. Apprentice? Is that like a young junior? No, apprentice means that you are just learning something. So, I am an apprentice learning fractions from you, my teacher. <laughs> my friends will never believe me that my teacher is smaller than me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
When we want to add two mixed numbers, we must add the whole numbers and the fractions separately. For example, let's add 5 and 3 sevenths to 4 and 3 sevenths. First, we find the sum of the whole numbers, that is, 5 plus 4 equals 9. Then, we look at the two fractions and see if they have a common denominator. Yes, they do. The common denominator is 7. So all we need to do is to add the numerators. 3 plus 3 equals 6. So we get 6 over 7 or 6 sevenths. Now we put the sum of the whole numbers together with the fraction. We get 9 and 6 sevenths. Now, let's find the sum of another type of mixed numbers. What is the sum of 2 and 3 fifths and 3 and 4 fifths? 2 plus 3 equals 5. Again, the fractions have a common denominator, so we add the numerators. 3 plus 4 is 7. So the answer is 5 and 7 fifths. 7 fifths! We've learned about that type of fractions the last time, didn't we? Oh! Yes! I remember! It is an improper fraction because the numerator is bigger than the denominator. Good! You are a fast learner, Nick. Remember, we can't leave your answer as an improper fraction. We must change the improper fraction into a... Proper fraction. We must divide the 7 by 5. We put 1 on top. Multiply that by 5. We should get 5 at the bottom. Then 7 minus 5 equals 2. The 1 on top is the whole number. We put the remainder 2 over 5. And we get 1 and 2 fifths. We still have the whole number 5, right? Yes. We add 5 to the 1 and we get 6 and 2 fifths. Correct again. If we add 6 and 5 ninths and 4 and 7 ninths, what should we get? We start by adding the whole numbers. 6 plus 4 equals 10. Now, we look at the fractions. Again, they have a common denominator, 9. So all we do is add the numerators together. 5 plus 7 equals 12, giving us 12 nines. But mummy, the numerator is bigger than the denominator. If you remember, Nick called this type of fraction an improper fraction. We need to change the improper fraction into a mixed number. This is done by dividing the numerator by the denominator. So we divide 12 by 9. We put 1 on top. 1 times 9 is 9, which we put below the 12. 12 minus 9 is 3. So, our answer is 1 and 3 nines. We add the whole numbers. 1 plus 10 equals 11, giving us the final answer of 11 and 3 nines. Melody, what if the denominators are not the same? Let you ask. We are going to look at that right now. 4 and 1, 10. Add it to 3 and 1, 5th. The denominators are 10 and 5. Melody, how do we add these fractions? First things first. We add the whole numbers together. 4 plus 3 equals 7. Right, now the trick to adding fractions like this 
is to make the denominators the same. Oh, so if the denominators are the same, we can add the numerators like we did earlier. Exactly! But Melody, how do we make the denominators the same? Look carefully at the two denominators, Nick. We have 10 and 5. So, 10 and 5, 10 and 5. Ah, I got it. If we multiply 5 by 2, we get 10. That means both the fraction will have the same denominator 10. Good, but we can't stop that because it is not complete. I don't understand, Melody. You see, Nick, if we multiply the denominators by a certain number, we must also multiply the numerator by the same number. That means for the fraction 1 fifth, we must multiply both the 5 and the 1 by 2. So, 2 times 5 is 10. And 2 times 1 is 2. 1 fifth becomes 2 tenths. Now we add 1 tenth and 2 tenths. The denominators are the same. So we just add the numerators. 1 plus 2 equals 3. We get 3 tenths. And when we combine that with the whole number, we get 7 and 3 tenths. Well done, Nick! Nick learned to add two mixed numbers where the fractions had different denominators. Let's do a revision of this. 5 and 1 third is added to 4 and 1 sixth. First, we add the whole numbers. 5 plus 4 equals 9. Now, we take the fractions. The denominators are different. 3 and 6. We can make the denominators the same by multiplying 2 to the 3, which gives us 6. We then multiply the numerator also by 2. So 1 times 2 is 2. The fractions are now 2 sixths and 1 sixth. So we add the numerators. 2 plus 1 equals 3. We get 3 sixths. When we combine this with the sum of the whole numbers, we get a total of 9 and 3 sixths. Hey Melody, is it quiz time? Let me see. Oh please, please, I answered all your questions correctly, didn't I? Yes, you did. Hmm. Okay, a Quiz it is! Great! Could the young apprentice ask you for another small favour? Of course! Could you hold my hand and let me do the magic thing? Come. Yes! Now look at the question. Hey! This question is just like the one Uncle Leong asked us. What is the total distance they walked? To find the total distance, all we have to do is to add the two mixed numbers together, correct? Yes! First, we add the whole numbers. 1 plus 3 equals 4. Then we take the fractions. The denominators are the same. So, we only have to add the numerators. 1 plus 2 equals 3. That means... We get three fifths. The final answer is the two of them walked a total distance of four and three fifths. It is not complete, Nick. Four and three fifths. What? Oh, four and three fifths kilometers. Very good, Nick. You got the quiz correct. Yes. This is for you, since you answered all questions correctly. Wow, a chocolate bar! Thank you so much, Melody. Do you have any other questions to ask me? No, but thank you so much for teaching me how to add two mixed numbers. You're welcome. 
You better get home now. Your two friends are waiting for you. Yes, I know. That's great, Nick. Now we can give Uncle Leon the answer and get a free ice cream. Alvin, don't you think of anything else except food? Uh, no. Alvin, do you see on my mother's shopping list? Yeah. Thank you. Susie, could you please write these mixed numbers on the whiteboard while we read them out? Yeah, sure. Two and a half kilograms of garlic. Oh, we also bought three and one quarter kilograms of onions. Three and one quarter of onions. onions. Okay. Sorry. Now apprentices. What's that? Yeah. Never mind. What? Are these type of fractions called? Uh, Which number? Because they are made up of whole numbers and fractions. Now, first we have to add the whole numbers. 2 plus 3 equals 5. Correct. Susie, can you please add the fractions? Um, how do I do that? To add two fractions, we must make sure that the denominators are the same. The denominators are 2 and 4. So, to make them the same, um, we have to... I know! Multiply the 2 by 2 and we get 4. So, both the denominators are now the same. But if we have multiplied the denominator by 2, we must also... Multiply the numerator by 2. So, 1 multiplied by 2 is 2. Correct! What we have here is 2 quarters and 1 quarter. Now, we must add the, the numerators together. 2 plus 1 equals 3. Our answer is 3 quarters. And if we put it together with the whole number, we get 5 and 3 quarters. Very good! Are we all ready for some free ice cream from Uncle Leon's shop? Lead the way, teacher! Hey, wait! 